but uh, that store there was um, the Thomas Crapper store and that McDonald's there, I'm gonna go and get a coffee in the McDonald's because I've never been in it, it was the original Chelsea drugstore so uh, let's pop in there and take a look. Okay, I didn't get a coffee, but I did manage to wait out the rain. Um, if you've watched my previous vlogs, you'll know why I didn't get a coffee. But yeah, that building there was the original Chelsea drugstore. Um, made famous in the Rolling Stones song. Uh, well, it was famous before they sang about it, but uh, you can't always get what you want when they're singing about the Chelsea drugstore. That was it. That store there, 120 was the original Thomas Crapper store, who's uh, credited with inventing the toilet. Oh, I'll come back to that in a moment. The uh, Chelsea Drugstore sounds like an incredible, like it was an incredible shop. Opened in the 60s when this was like the most fashionable part of town and a multi-story shop. Originally it was a pub, then it opened as the Chelsea Drugstore. And um, yeah, multiple stories, bars, um, obviously a pharmacy or a chemist and uh, news agents I think, record shop. And uh, at some point, Apparently they, it was open seven days a week and long hours and at some point they would also do home deliveries and uh, they used uh, girls in purple cat suits on motorbikes which sounds pretty cool. So uh, yeah, the other shop I was looking at, the uh, Thomas Crapper store, 120. My grandma used to tell, my grandmother used to tell me stories about Thomas Crapper when I was growing up, that he invented the toilet. Just go on and on and on about it. and. Uh, the reason being was Thomas Crapper was like a renowned plumber. Uh, while we're here, I think that coffee shop there, I think, was the original Mary Quant store, Bazaar, where she took credit, again, took credit for uh, inventing the miniskirt and hot pads, which were shot to fashion in the 60s. I'm not sure if she did invent them, but she's credited with it. Uh, there is a Mary Quant store in today in Duke of York Square. But yeah, the Thomas Crapper store. My grandma used to go on and on about him because my family's, that side of my family's grave is in Elmerton Graveyard. And uh, Thomas Crapper was a plumber and inventor here in Chelsea. He, uh, he got credited with inventing the toilet, um, or the flushing toilet. He kind of made improvements to it, didn't actually invent it. But uh, let's roll with the story that he invented it because it's much more interesting. But yeah, my, my family's grave is like adjacent to the Thomas Crapper grave. And my grandmother had the, uh, the duty of keeping the grave clean, I guess. Um, That pizza hut restaurant always looks incredible. The most incredible looking pizza you've ever seen. Pizza hut went through a phase of uh, taking on buildings that would be completely, that most restaurant chains would uh, not even think twice about because they just, they wouldn't be able to put they stamp their image internally and uh, they've got some incredible buildings up and down the country. I think there's one in York which is like in an old banking hall if it's still there, haven't been there for years but uh, yeah inside it's incredible. The last place you'd expect to sell pizza. But yeah anyway Thomas Crapper, my family's grave is adjacent to Thomas Crapper's grave. It was completely overgrown. Um, my grandmother had the duty of cleaning our family grave and uh, at some point in time which was I guess she felt found a chore. That Starbucks there, apparently the first Starbucks to open in the UK in the late 90s. Um, yes, my grandmother had this um, chore of cleaning the family grave. At some point, the Thomas Crapper Appreciation Society or something along those lines sprang up and um, 
they started cleaning the grave. Volunteers started like attending to his grave, but the graves are so close together, there's just like an inch or so between them. They started cleaning the surrounding area. So my grandmother was like so chuffed that uh, she didn't have to clean the grave anymore because she had a whole team of volunteers doing it for her who were mainly interested in Thomas Crackers, but they were cleaning ours. That building there, apothecary store it is now. That was once um, an antique centre, um, full of antiques, it, uh, different antique dealers. It's an amazing looking building, but uh, they don't use, they shut down the back of it, I don't know what they're, they're developing it. I think this building here is going to be developed soon as well, um, the old cinema and the habitat building. You read about there's always protests when they develop things but eventually they quite often happen so yeah i'm not sure what they're developing that into and somewhere here opposite chelsea town hall um there, there's talk of putting in a cross rail station I would imagine somewhere here um which again serious protests about that but that will probably happen but not until like 2030. so did i finish my thomas crapper story yeah i think so the Thomas Crapper Association basically cleaned my family grave. Um, Thomas Crapper's still going, by the way. You can buy Thomas Thomas Crapper toilets, Thomas Crapper uh, sinks, all sort of wash basin accessories. Right, while we're here, Chelsea Old Town Hall there, that doorway there. Today on a Saturday, it's a horrible day today, but people get married in there all day, and. Uh, the local registry office so on Saturdays you'll often see wedding parties standing outside there frying confetti over brides coming out it's pretty cool coming straight out onto the street for the shoppers but yeah it's a good space as well